Hi guys, welcome to Self Care Sunday. So today we are talking about being perfectly imperfect. I have five steps and a special bonus, but I want you to put in the comments, like which one is your favorite as I go through these steps. Look at me being perfectly imperfect. <laughs> but as we go through these steps, I want to hear what's your favorite. Um, put it in the comments. But as always, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you're the first to know when a new video is uploaded. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Let's, let's get a little imperfect. <laughs> awesome. Step number one, know thyself. You have to know who you are. And if you don't, how can you be perfectly imperfect? You're probably going to be imperfect. But if you don't have a true understanding of who you are as a person, what your goals are, what you want, what you don't want, who, what you've done, what you are glad that you did, what you are upset that you did. If you don't know who you are, you're not going to be as productive in this life as you can. Right? Right. It's just the truth. Step number two, you want to start to tune out the voices of others. This is probably going to be a very difficult thing because a lot of times we misinterpret um, our own voice or our own thoughts as not recognizing that it came from someone else, right? So a lot of times the voice or the words and the thoughts and the expressions that we hear from like our family members, our parents, um, teachers, all of that, we minimize how important those words were. But then at some point in our life, we begin to adopt them as our own thoughts. So you want to make a conscious effort to say, okay, where did that thought come from? And dig deep and deep and deep until you get to the reality that it came from someone else. And if it came from someone else, tune it out. This is not going to be an easy process. It's going to take time. It's going to take intentionality. It's going to take focus. But I want you to get in the habit of doing that so that you can make that step and grow in a different direction, right? right. Step number three, do a self-love deep dive. What do I mean by a self-love deep dive, right? A self-love deep dive is something kind of like how I talked about in my first book, 23 and Finally Loving Me. I spent a year doing a self-love deep dive. What do I like? What don't I like? What do I want? What don't I want? What do I want to experience? Why do I want to experience it? Did I like that experience? Did I not like that experience? Do I want to do more of this? Do I want to do less of that? Really taking the time to focus on yourself, financially, physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, all of that, like focus on you for a while. And if you're having a lot of stressors in any of those areas, it may time, it may be time to have that intentional self-love deep dive. Get to know yourself in a different way. Okay? Because if you don't know you, child, we definitely don't. Step number four. Be kind to yourself. You're not perfect. And it's okay that you're not perfect. I want you to be kind to yourself. You're going to make mistakes. All you can do from it is learn from it and move forward. You're not going to get it right the first time. In school, you learn the lesson and pass the test. In life, you get the test and that teaches you a lesson. You have to understand that it's okay to fail a test in life because that is your learning process. Our biggest teachers in life are going to be our mistakes. Be kind to yourself. Don't be so forgiving of everyone else in this world and then forget to forgive yourself. Okay. And step number five, live, laugh, love. I love that quote, first and foremost. Whoever came up with it, kudos, okay? But live a little, laugh a little, love a little. It's really that simple. I don't really think this step needs much of an explanation. But I will say, if you don't laugh, your life is boring. I'll tell you that right now. 
laugh. Laughter is good for the soul. Okay. I love a good laugh. If you have a good joke, put it in the comments because I love laughing. Okay. And bonus. So in the words of Lisa Nichols, and I've used this quote before, but it is very applicable to today, right? Give yourself a thousand second chances. And when you reach 999, hit reset. All right, so I'll do a little recap for you guys. And again, make sure you put in the comments which one's your favorite. So step one, know thyself. Step two, tune out the voices of others. Step three, do a self-love deep dive. Step four, be kind to yourself. Step five, live, laugh, love. And bonus, give yourself a thousand second chances. And when you hit 999, hit reset. All right, guys, that's it for today's self. So, sun, see, perfectly imperfect. That's it for today's self-care Sunday. Make sure you put in the comments your favorite step. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, see you next week.